Hello, 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 my loves. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel. I'm here to do a love reading for you guys. Let's just see whether you're single in a relationship. This one's going to be a general love reading, okay? The situation to come out for y'all. So let's see what's going on with the current energy for the collective love life. Let's see here. Hope you guys are doing okay. I know some of y'all doing okay. <laughs> I don't know why I just heard. Here we go again. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm getting treated song. Here we go. Here we go again. Now you're telling me that she is just a friend. I think I just sent it all wrong. Let's see what's going on for y'all. But I'm here like, here we go, here we go again. Like, you know. So there might be an X that pop up here. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. What's going on with the collective love life spirit? So we got the moon out here first. What else? We got the two of swords. Y'all can see the cards. I want y'all to be able to see the cards. Even though it's going to cut off on y'all pretty soon. What else here? Tower. <laughs> what else? Y'all look at that. I love you with I love you unconditionally. I don't know, y'all. I'm getting uh, psycho vibes here. A little bit. Page of Pentacles. Someone's like kind of like very upset with you for leaving them. That's what I'm getting here. Let's get one more for the overall energy. What's going on with Collective Love Life? And we got the Kiki Cups. Yep. Somebody's hiding some type of disdain for you. What's the moon? The Empress. With the screen. You can like remind somebody of their mom or something. What's the moon with the Empress? We got the King of Wands. Who is King of Wands? Ooh. Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding back how they feel about you. They act nonchalant. And this King of Wands energy around other people. Somebody definitely does a lot of third parties here with the moon as well. They secretly get into a lot of uh, things here. Mm, what's the Empress specifically? Two of Cups. What's the King of Wands, Four of Pentacles? Somebody holds back how much they feel about you. We got the Justice. That's somebody from your past here, a king of wands that's dealing with some type of uh, legal issues here. That could be another reason why they're holding back. They just went through some type of fighting out your issues here with somebody, probably a baby mama of theirs. Clarify this justice. Six of wands. What's the two of swords? I hide behind material things. Along with just being near you is intoxicating. So this person is blocking coming towards you because they don't have good intentions for you with the seven of swords and the king of swords. No, somebody mentally is not right. Clarify how behind material thing that this person is mentally not right with judgment. They're they're very materialistic, very materialistic. Like this person, like they 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 crave attention from people, from how they look, how they come off to people. Clarify to just being the use intoxicating. 
And something about you like throws this off to this person. Look at that, the lovers. Cause this person, when this person is around you, they fall in love with you with the four of wands. Just, they think about family, happiness, settling down, investing. But at the same time, they want to have their cake and eat it too. Cause they're very love vibrational. They depend on people's validation. What's this judgment here? With the high behind material things? I've seen the double. You got the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person comes from a very low vibrational family here. It's something to do with their family life, how they grew up. What's this Ten of Cups? Got the nine of wands, wounded warrior. This person has been through a lot. This person had to survive through a lot in their family here. And do a lot of things for money. Somebody did some strange things for money, I feel like. It don't have to be nothing sexual, you know, but I don't know. I ain't trying to get too deep into that. But this person's infatuated by you. What's the tower? And they're very shocked with the ten of swords by something that they see in here. Look at that. We will be together again. What's the Ten of Swords? The Four of Swords. Something, this person is, when this person, this, this, something about you shocks this person because when they laying down in bed, all they do is think about you. All this person do is think about you when they laying down in bed. I don't know what it is, what this shocker is. Could be something that you're doing here, Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They're watching you do something online. They 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 reminiscing about the memories, how they, they feel like they ruined something. This person's just such in their head about you. And it's it's kind of messing them up though, because this person is not very stable when it comes to their emotions. They may act like they do. What's this King of Cups? What's the King of Cups? You got the Knight of Cups. This person wants to come towards you. What's the Knight of Cups with a cup of love? But they're more in a King of Wands energy. We got the world. We will be together again. <laughs> somebody here that has a uh, very bad, con somebody here like craves control though. Give me one more for the King of Wands. You were the best thing in my life. My bad, y'all. What's this Ten of Swords, Four of Swords? Ace of Wands. This person can like think about you while they ejaculating. I'm just being honest here. And like try to like fantasize about you. They fantasize about you and they, whoo, what's this Ace of Wands? I'm telling you, yo. We got the seven of wands. I don't know. Like somebody is fighting off temptations. Like other people. Someone thinks about you when they uh, have an intercourse with other people here. They, they, they definitely do. And sometimes they have to fight it off. Somebody just thinks about you, period. When they land down in, in the, if they land down in the bed with by themselves or with another person, they are thinking about you. They're thinking about you. Give me some more for this tower. I got the nine of pentacles. It's so shocking to this person how you just able you you, you 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 able to take care of yourself, child. You are able to take care of yourself. You make good decisions for yourself. Even if it takes you a minute, but this person wants you to need them. They're upset because you don't need them. What's this page of Pentacles? You got the strength. Somebody feel like you are so strong. I left you before you could leave me. Someone was intimidated by you. They was intimidated by this power that you with that you held in you to move forward. What's the screen card? So this person decided to leave you before they felt like you were going to leave them or bruise their ego. And you still end up bruising their ego. What's the screen? 
with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Now that I want to work on a situation with you. Somebody's standing strong on their boundaries right now. And it's really putting somebody in their feelings here. What is going on in this love situation? What's going on with, uh, with the uh, my collective? Oh, we got the Four of Cups. What's the Four of Cups? I thought like this person like made you feel rejected. We got the identification card with a star. Like you ain't a whole star here. Like you ain't healing. This person made you feel rejected. What's the star? We got the ace of pentacles. This person is so shocked. This person, so this is this person in this four of cups energy. They're very upset about something that they find out about you. Like someone's like, you're in a spotlight here somehow. Someone's saying some type of truth about you with the ace of swords at the bottom of the day. You're receiving like a lot of abundance here with something that you're doing. Somebody's so upset about something that you're doing. Something that you're working on, some type of project, this new job that you have, this new adventure that you're on. You're going to school, you're just investing into yourself. Somebody thought that you was going to let yourself go. They thought that you was going to let yourself go. And you probably did let yourself go for a little while when you was dealing with this person. But it ain't, it ain't what, that's not what you're doing anymore. Clarify this identification card. Listen to your intuition more. Oh, we got the Knight of Swords with the Three of Cups. Somebody wants to reconcile. And they're trying to rush in to do it. And they haven't changed. Someone hasn't changed here. Give me some more on whoever this person is. The devil almost came out. This person has not changed. They just obsessed with you. But they haven't changed. Give me some more on this person. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Clarify this. You got everything is fine here. You got 10 swords out here twice. Somebody feel like they really uh, betrayed themselves. They really do. This person act like everything is okay. This person is not fine. This person is really not fine. I wonder if you are happy without me. And I feel like you are. I feel like you are. What's this Five of Cups? This person is in heavy regret here for misjudging you with the Five of Pentacles. This person made you feel like you they was leaving you out in the cold and they feel the exact whatever however somebody made you feel, this is how they feeling right now. The roles are switched here. What's this eight of pentacles? You are busy focused on work. Your foundation. We got the five of wands. And you have a lot of people competing with you. You have a lot of people competing with you. What's this eight of pentacles, five of wands? Child has seen a shadow. Somebody here. <laughs> We both know I am not the one for you. Ooh, we. So no, this is like you telling this person to go work on their work on go. You're not competing with somebody here. Somebody wanted you to compete for them. Their attention, their validation, their time. And you just wasn't doing it. Instead of you competing for this person, one, yeah. I told you somebody be thinking about you. Yeah, they're like, I've seen somebody like a lot of women competing for this person, one. And you letting this person know, I'm not the one for you because I'm not going to compete for you. I'm not going to lower my value for you like that. And I feel like you did at one point in time. But you have a mind of your own here. You eventually got out their energy. And this person is used to women standing their energy. What's this five of wands specifically? I'm telling you, I'm kind of getting that. The Ten of Wands, the burden, doing anything for that D, baby. I'm talking about doing any. This person is used to, used to people doing anything for that D. Fighting eight of, Queen of Swords with the Eight of Swords, fighting with each other, arguing with other women. Ooh, what's this Five of Wands, Ten of Wands with the Ace of Cups? And we got the Queen of Wands. They're used to women fighting over that D. <laughs> 
other attractive women at that. These are women that's very attractive. They could be like hairstylists, do nails. They could they could do creative things here, but they're so low vibrational. They're so low vibrational, and they only care about money. And you could be a queen of wands energy here too, where you do you do you look good. You you you're beautiful. You're sexy. You're fine. You're cute. Whatever. But you have a different energy about you at the same time. Like Queen of King of Wands is all about sexual energy. This person is used to going towards people who are who carry this, this King and Queen of Wands energy. The same way that they do this leadership energy. This boss-like energy. But heavy on the sexual energy as well. They're, they're sexually attractive. What's this Queen of Wands? We got the nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like they met another type of person that just like this, i.e. you, and you just wasn't the same. Because that's how we both know I'm not the one for you. And you told this person that, possibly. We got a regret lying to you. Well, this person could have told you I'm not the one for you, and they was lying because they had feelings for you the whole time. Yeah, it could have been that as well. 16 minutes in. Let's, uh... Let me see here. Let's pull something from here right quick. Do you still think about me? Do you still want me? Do you still love me? I need to know if I should move on. I'm hurting. Oh my gosh. One more. This person is really in their head questioning things. I'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right. One more. Okay, this reading is going to be different for all y'all. We got a stalker alert. I check up on you often. So regardless of who you are, this person checks up on you. We got, yes, I was cheating at the bottom of the deck. If I just do you still think about me? Do you still want me? Do you still love me? I need to know if I should move on. I'm hurting. I ain't becoming a better person, and we need to let each other go. So, in other words, yeah, this person needs to move on. They need to move on. Clarify, we need to let each other go. They need to move on with the food. They got to start over. Child with the, I didn't even see the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups with the Queen of Cups. Because you moved on. Yeah, Queen of Cups, you gone. You're gone. You're gone. What's this fool here where we need to let each other go? I definitely feel stupid. I couldn't let you get close to me. And that's fine. That's fine. You know, you do your work however long it takes you to do your work. But I'm not going to stick around while you do your work, juggling me, while, while you doing what you want to do at the same time. Like, no. Clarify, I'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right. Three of Swords. This person could possibly think that you're waiting on them. And I don't feel like you are. This person needs to move on with their life. What's this Three of Swords? With the double child. Somebody obsessed. Obsessed obsessed what's this three of swords with the devil I'm like nah nah you gonna feel wait on me you came closer than anyone this person like nah you definitely gonna you you'll wait on me they think you gonna wait on them you drop clarify this devil specifically you made somebody drop some type of facade here I know I mess up everything. This person is so mad at themselves here. So mad at themselves for being so low vibrational, for not seeing that you was different, a cut above the rest. They so fucking pissed. Clarify this stalker alert. Check up on you often. That's why they stalking you. Because they're upset and you moved on. They ain't never had the role switch up, switch up on them like this with the page of swords. They're trying to figure out like who you are. What is page of swords? Like... They don't understand what you're doing to them. You got the death card. They're wondering if it's really over with. And I feel like it is. You're not available no more. You're not available no more. What's this death card? You got the seven of swords with temperance. 
What's the seven of swords? I hope that you can forgive me one day. This person betrayed you somehow in secret. One more for the seven of swords. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I remember every detail of that day. This person betrayed you. One more. What's the seven of swords? With the high priestess. And you probably already know what happened. This person probably want to know if you know what happened. Somebody did something to betray you. What's this temperance? Queen of Cups. They betrayed you, Queen of Cups, temperance. Someone betrayed you here. <sighs> What's this temperance, Queen of Cups? Knight of Pentacles. They tried to slow you down. They did something behind the scenes trying to slow you down. And they in heavy regret because of that. What this person do? What did they do? We got the three of wands. What's the three of wands? King of swords. What's the king of swords, three of wands? I know that I crossed a line with you. Who is King of Swords? I knew exactly what I was doing. Who is King of Swords? I knew exactly what I was doing. Queen of Swords. We will be together again. Somebody feel like you 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 met them right on their level when it came to these mind games. Like your intuition was giving you so many downloads about this person when you was dealing with them. You was calling them out on their bull crap without even knowing you was. That's exactly what I feel. I'm afraid to contact you, the higher friend with the five of swords. Somebody feel like that if they come towards you to contact you, baby, you already getting downloads about this again, I feel like. I see the sun peeking out too. This person probably they come towards you just gonna end in one big argument. One big argument. You're gonna tell them about themselves. This person see you as a higher friend. Child, let's close this out. Alright, let's close it out. Last few messages. We got the Emperor. What's this Emperor? Queen of Pentacles. Boss. Somebody's a boss. Last three messages. King of Pentacles. We got the King, Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor out here. One more. What's this King, Queen of Pentacles? Why are they out here together? I wish I could share my good news with you. King, Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, this person see you as a king to their Queen of Cups. King, the, king, the King, Queen of Wands is out here. The King, Queen of Pentacles is out here. The King, Queen of Cups is out here. And the Emperor and the Empress is out here. They're all out here. They're all out here. And at the end of the day, it's like too bad, too late. So let's get an oracle for this uh, relationship message here. What's the oracle message for this relationship message, Spirit? We got yin at the bottom of the deck. We got come to the edge. Let me see. Number 36. Courage. 
taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now. If you want to progress, it's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated to feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Somebody is trying to muscle up the courage to uh, come towards you. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you can, so that you may find your miracles. This person also see that you're the type of person here who believe in the unknown. Just clarify this. Come to the edge. I'm gonna keep reading it. Yeah, you're very guided with the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. We got the six of pentacles. Six of swords. What's the six of pentacles here? Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands with the Eight of Cups. Ooh. Yeah. Somebody felt like because they didn't give you your flowers here, that you was guided away from them. They didn't recognize you for your worth. They tried to juggle you and focus on other options. Meanwhile, you was walking out the door. I'm getting Life Jenna songs. Um, Never Neverland. I'm getting this song for some reason. Let me keep reading. This is a relationship message. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take the risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, stay who you are, say that you what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You would be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. This person is praying for another chance with you. That's what I feel like this is. Let me see something real quick. Clarify this come to the edge. We got emotional withdrawal. This person wants to come back to you. They're praying. What I say, they're praying about it. This person is praying about it, literally. Clarify this emotional withdrawal. They are praying about it. It's almost as if I feel like they can do all the praying they want to. It's a no-go. Mental conflict, and they know this. They know this because they, they praying, and ain't nothing working. And it ain't happening. You guarding yourself with spiritual strength. You're guarding yourself here. Like someone is in an energy of where you just you ain't got time to play games with people right now. I feel like you don't. What energy is my collective in? Let's see. We got material and spiritual prosperity. Clarify this material and spiritual prosperity. Somebody too busy trying to get into alignment. And focus on their money here. Yeah, recognition and reward almost came out. You better recognize for something here. We got death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. See, you have you know how to detach and let go. This person has a, a hard time detaching from people. You don't though. You if somebody feel like your detach game, your cutoff game is just immaculate here. They act like they're the type of person here who can easily move on, but they really not. They're really not. What's this death card? Somebody's going through a major transformation here. We got soul pressure chakra. Something about your confidence coming back or something like that. What's this death card with soul pressure chakra? Seven of Cups. Yeah, something coming back to you. It's time for me to heal and now. You're healing. Spirit got you healing. From all things that affected you in all areas of your life, your money, your finances, the will of fortune almost came out, your money, your finances, your love life, things you weren't able to do on the holidays, like being able to stand up for yourself, like just many things. What's the seven of cups? That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, the hermit. Someone's healing from a lot of things here. You're going deeper into understanding yourself, learning more about yourself. You're on a journey here. Clarify this mental conflict with emotional withdrawal. For this person. The time it just wasn't right for us. One more. To deal the time it wasn't right. 
But really, you was an asshole. I hear who I really am from you. So it was really about the time. It don't really matter right about the time because I feel like it was destined for y'all to meet with the Wheel of Fortune here. But at the same time, like you just asked, oh, like you didn't you didn't treat this person right. You didn't treat the collective right. It ain't just about the timing. You gotta own up to what you did, how you really treated somebody here. Don't nobody wanna put up with that, like. <sighs> hmm. But that's the message I have for you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. To some from it to move forward in life with clarity. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I say, mwah.